All right. Well, if you've watched my Eagles video, you'll know that I'm going to try and do this uncut. Um, there might be some cuts here and there. I might be looking at something. Someone may be talking to me, but I'm going to try and give my focus and my own opinions on the Saints. Um, there's going to be times where I might be really frustrated and sometimes where I'm really excited. So, But I'm going to give my honest opinions. There's going to be times where I'm going to say that this doesn't look good. I'm going to be completely honest. So let's just dive right into the Eagles at Cardinals preseason week one. Um, Saints end up winning. First quarter was a punt fest, uh, to say the very least. Nothing happened of note. Um, both teams' offenses looked stale. Saints' defense looked very good, to say the least, but you're playing against backups, so there's not much to really say there in the first quarter. Second quarter, finally some something happens. Uh, Cardinals turn the ball over on downs at their own 47-yard line. Uh, Saints kicker Blake Groupie made a 26-yard field goal for the first points of the game. Cardinals turn the ball over on downs again, this time at the Saints' 12-yard line. And Blake Groupie kicked a 33-yard field goal. Uh, Saints led at halftime 6-0. Uh, th these games uh, in first week of the preseason really love scoring, to say uh, the least. Uh, they've been pretty bad. Uh, third quarter, Cardinals running back Michael Carter ran in an 11-yard touchdown. And uh, Saints quarterback Spencer Rattler ran in a 4-yard touchdown. Uh, I have more to say about Spencer Rattler. I'm intrigued by him, but I'll get to him. Fourth quarter, Cardinals turn the ball over on downs again, this time at the Saints 48-yard line. But the Cardinals came back, and quarterback Clayton Toon threw a 10-yard touchdown to running back Tony Jones Jr., a former Saint. And with uh, time near the end, Saints kicker, another, a different kicker, Charlie Smith kicked a 37-yard field goal, and the Saints won 16-14. to So, overall... Um, Offensive play calling immediately looked better than it did at any any point last year. Last year, offensive play calling was horrendous. Read any article I've said all year long. I said play calling is terrible. Um, even the majority of starters playing were unable to move the ball downfield against Cardinals backups, and that's you can't be doing that. Uh, Derek Carr was off on some throws, uh, checked down quite a bit. Uh, offensive line continued to show struggles from last year, and Ryan Ramchek not being on this team is going to really hurt this team. I think the Saints need to trade for a, an offensive lineman that's experienced. Uh, stop drafting them because uh, it's not working. I know that we have a rookie that we drafted, but there's uh, it's the offensive line just continues to struggle with penalties, uh, the inability to hold a block. I'm not saying holding. I'm saying just to hold any sort of block. And it's just immediately letting the pass rushers get to the quarterback or letting the D line get to the running back as quickly as possible. Uh, defensive line had a majority of starters playing and got a lot of pressure on the Cardinals early on in the opening drives. Uh, you are playing against Desmond Ritter. Kyler Murray did not play. Uh, Jake Hayner opened up as the second string quarterback. I thought it was interesting. I guess he knows the team more, so he's going to be the backup and not Spencer Rattler. Uh, Brian Bercy looked incredible on every snap and showed he should be a starter. He should be played with the starting D line every single game. Uh, I, I know we have Nathan Shepard. I know we have Kalen Saunders. Uh, there's, but he, he's one of, he looks like one of those difference makers that he should not be off the field. Uh, cornerback Kool-Aid McKinstry. I'm, I'm glad we know what position he's going to play. He's, uh, he was rumored. He could play safety, he could play corner could play in the slot. Uh, but he's playing corner. He, at least in this game, uh, he looked really solid in coverage and he had a lot of energy every time he was throwing the ball. Uh, he was making tackles. He was playing great man coverage, but he looked really good. Uh, penalties continue to be an issue for the Saints. 
Uh, it shows that Dennis Allen still has not been able to discipline this team. Uh, I've been saying it since la- all of last year. I said it that Dennis Allen just doesn't know how to discipline the Saints. He doesn't know how to discipline them. That's the difference between a good coach and a bad coach. You don't know how to discipline your team, and that's why all these penalties are happening, and including the offensive line. Um, Saints seem to be utilizing more plays with the fullbacks, uh, which is something I live for. Uh, I think fullbacks. I I I will bring up stats to to prove that in order to have a successful run game, you need one of three things. You either need a fullback. You need an option offense or two tight ends. If you don't have any of those three, you're more than likely not a successful offense at running the ball. Um, You might be average at best, but look across the league, across the history of the league. Those are three three main points. Um, And I'm so glad they're utilizing the fullback more. I've heard we have two fullbacks on the roster, so I'm... Adam Prentice has been on the team for a while. I I don't think he's been a very good fullback, but I don't know. Maybe that's just a position they want anyone playing. Uh, Jake Hayner threw a 60-yard bomb to wide receiver A.T. Perry to set up the Saints for a field goal before the first half ended, and that was the best throw I've ever seen Hayner make. Uh, and A.T. Perry, has, I, I like A.T. Perry. I think he's got a lot of potential in this offense, especially with Olave as a route runner, Rashid Shahid as the speed speed demon. Uh, A.T. Perry can be the physical guy to moss other receivers. Uh, I think he has a lot of potential. Um, Yeah, that was the best throw I've ever seen Hayner make. Uh, I still don't think he's that good i think he's a very he's a great athlete and i think that's what's keeping him on the team Uh, i'm sure if he was a slower quarterback that he more than likely is not on this roster uh cardinals quarterback clayton toon was just dotting up the entire saints defense to start the second half saints had no answer for clayton toon clayton toon looked really good uh i think that showed uh, from an outside perspective to cardinals fans I think it shows Clayton Toon already has a huge edge over Desmond Ritter in the QB2 battle for the Cardinals. But anyways, getting back to the Saints, uh, last note I have is really on Spencer Rattler. He, uh, all right, let me get this out of the way first. Um, And when we first, when the Saints first drafted Spencer Rattler, um, I thought, okay, I, I like this. Where you're drafting him is not... You're not drafting him to be the franchise guy. You're not drafting him that early. You're also not drafting him to just necessarily be a be a depth piece. Uh, I think Spencer Rattler can learn from Derek Carr, maybe not at this point in Derek Carr's career. Uh, I do like Derek Carr a lot. I think with the new West Coast offense implemented with the Saints, I think that should benefit him. But if he's looking like he did in this game, uh, he might be out of town sooner rather than later. Um, but Spencer Rattler looked really good, really comfortable with the offense uh, and showed that he was clutch leading the Saints to a game-winning field goal drive. Um, he looked really good. Uh, I've never seen – I haven't – the last time I saw a Saints quarterback look this good and this comfortable in an offense was Jameis Winston when he threw six touchdowns against the Packers. And before that, I would, yeah, it's definitely Drew Brees before that. But, yeah, I mean, he looked a lot better than I thought he was going to look. Um, I I expected with his talent uh, that he would have a lot of potential, um, you th- and especially with the potential of having Olave, Rashid Shahid, Taysom Hill, uh, which, quick note, Taysom Hill opened up the game, used quite a bit, a receiver, tight end, uh Good. I'm so glad we're seeing Taysom Hill still utilized in the offense. But, I mean, with the talent that the Saints have at the skill positions, I think this really should benefit Rattler a lot if he were to come and become the starter. Uh, I know I already know a lot of Saints fans are trying to get – saying he should be the starter. Uh, I don't think now is necessarily time. you still got to give Derek Carr – 
a couple games to see if he can improve with this new offense, the new scheme. And yeah, he looked a lot better than I thought he was. I, I, I don't think I've seen a, I've definitely not seen a Saints backup quarterback or any sort of quarterback out that wasn't named Drew Brees look as talented as he did. Uh, I know, I, I know Jameis had a great stretch of games for a little bit. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater looked really looked solid. Uh, statistically, he wasn't that great, but was still winning games with the Saints. Uh, Taysom Hill is an athlete, but I don't think he's a great quarterback. Uh, I think in the right, if you have like a option offense, then maybe Taysom Hill is could be a successful quarterback, but. I mean, he's just a fantastic athlete, but Sp yeah, Spencer Rattler looked really good. I'm really excited to see how he fits into the Saints future. Um, I, I I don't like that he's wearing 18. I think it looks weird. Um, I'm a, I'm very big into numbers and players wearing numbers. Uh, I'm not a fan of Spencer Rattler wearing 18. I just think it looks kind of odd. Um, I think there's only one 18 that I think of every time I see 18, and that's obviously Peyton Manning. But yeah, I, I, I think he's got a lot of potential. I, I, if he doesn't play a game this year for the Saints, if he doesn't get some playing time, I will be disappointed. Um, and yeah, I mean, I he's got to see some time unless Derek Carr looks like the Derek Carr of old. But yeah, that is my uh, take on the Saints Cardinals game. Um, not much to really talk about. Uh, there was a lot of. Uh, I, I will let me get back to the defense. The defense still looks great. Dennis Allen is the head coach, so anything under Dennis Allen is the defense. We know is still going to be good. Um, in terms of the secondary. Uh, I mean, Lattimore's not playing uh, pretty much have. I, I'm worried that Lattimore might be on his way out, and I really like Marshawn Lattimore. I still think he's one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. Uh, but with as young of a, of a cornerback group as you have, I'm, I'm afraid that the Saints are going to say, well, I think we can get something for him. He is aging. He's been hurt recently. And we have Elante Taylor. We have... Um, we have Kool Aid McKinstry and um, I'm drawing a blank. Paulson Adebo. Paulson Adebo looked fantastic last year. Um, and I think as a young group, that is a very good cornerback group to that if you have a good coach, you can improve and be successful. Uh, and that safety, uh, I know you got Tyran Matthew but we really don't know who the safety next to him is going to be. Justin Simmons was brought in for a visit. Uh, that would be nice to have Justin Simmons out there, um, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I, I think the Saints need to get more pressure than last year because more pressure onto the offense will allow for this secondary to thrive at its best. And Pete Warner got an extension last week. I love Pete Warner. I think he's a great coverage linebacker. I mean, in terms of all the coverage linebackers in the NFL, he's definitely one of the best. He's definitely top 10, maybe. Uh, and Demario Davis, he's older, but he's still playing at a great level, an all-pro level. So, yeah, I, I think what I want to see is I want to see the edge rushers on the defense do better. Uh, I love Cameron Jordan. He is getting up there in age. Chase Young has potential. He's always had potential, but I'm just worried that he's just not going to be, he's just going to be like a veteran pickup, like every team that signed Jadavian Clowney. So yeah, that's my take on Saints Cardinals. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing this every week for the season. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.